Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish 2. As you can see, we're in Dajayim. I have not rested. The prince is still unconscious, I guess. We've been hauling him all the way up here. And um, that's fine. I can find a place to rest. Or I suppose I can head over to the fort before I start uh, dealing with one of these two remaining quests here. I think. It should only be these two, right? The... Uh, Eastern Entrance of Fraximus and the Common Catacombs. The first time I was here I focused entirely on those areas that promised to uh, you know, produce some Quicksilver for me. But of course before we do any of that we're actually going to go ahead and visit the governor. And finally found out, find out what kind of person that is. Governor Ivana, that's right. So, unless I'm mistaken, we have never actually talked to her. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never seen that portrait. So, let's start here. The governor of the High Letha is sitting at the end of, of a large table. The hall is as opulent as can be managed here, shoddy by Havenite standards, but it still stands out in this icy wasteland. She rises when you approach and bows deeply. She is a stout middle-aged woman. Her skin has been chapped by long years up here in the icy wind. You note that she is under heavy guard. I suppose with everything that's been going on, that's probably wise, although no governors have been targeted. But, um, well, I suppose rebellion is also just around the corner. So, um, assassinations are not the only thing to be afraid of. Anyway, um, right, greetings to you. We are all honored by your visit. I am Governor Ivana of Haven, Protector of the High Letha. We will do all we can to help your mission. Good to hear. Mm. <laughs> okay. Once again, a fine set of options here. I'm Prince Atanto of Haven, here to evaluate your performance. I mean, that's not exactly... I don't know. <laughs> a very friendly thing to, to, to be the first thing to say to someone, but it is the truth, and she knows it, so... Governor Ivana nods. That is to be expected. A traditional part of a full diplomatic visit. You will have full cooperation from us. I hope that my performance meets with your approval. I mean, to be honest, even if I hadn't heard about you apparently being competent, um, by comparison, it's it's really hard to to look bad compared to the other governors I've I've already seen, you know. But still, um, I uh, well, looking forward to finding out how competent you actually are. A traditional part of a full diplomatic visit, yes. Uh, I hope that my performance meets with your approval. First, I imagine that you want to report. Yes, please. The chaos in the other provinces, downward as they say up here, downward as they say up here, has not spread to the High Letha. No raiders, no warfare. Some rumors of angry ghosts, but that happens every few years. The only concern is, well, not a concern, more like a likely inconvenience. It is about Rasa Soharum, leader of the High Letha. Things are really peaceful here? It has been quiet. Of course, this is the Rokaj. As we learned in the Great Uprising, they can be incredibly angry and seem entirely peaceful. I promise that I have been very alert. Everything seems run down. This is a poor land. My outpost relies on supplies from the other governors. They have not been generous with us. We make do with what we get. Angry ghosts, you say? It is a common phenomenon in vassal states. Many of them have traditional lands, and those tend to be placed in areas of great natural magic. Uh, the result is shades. They may be ghosts, or they may be mindless magical constructs. They are like the weather here. Unpleasant, but not truly dangerous. Hmm. What about Rasa Suharam? Governor Ivana doesn't hide her unease. I have not spoken to him for weeks. I recently dropped by his hall, only to find that it was mostly abandoned. You will need to hear petitions uh, from the Rasa if you are to complete your diplom diplomatic mission. That is correct. And importantly, the Rasa knows that. He can ask Haven for anything, yet he's not here. Hmm. I will make my own inquiries into this. Will he be back soon? If he would miss a meeting with the Prince of Haven, he will likely want to keep missing it. But why? You may need to seek him out. This bears much thought. Anyway, welcome to Jajayim. We have warm beds available. Please rest and enjoy our hospitality. I will be available whenever you need me. Okay, I mean, she's friendly so far. Um, tell me more about yourself, Governor. She smiles. It is not an interesting tale. 
I've heard of your exploits on Sacramentum. I've done nothing so interesting. I've been up here with my husband for many years. This has been a long posting. We have settled in here as much as we can. It is a hard place to live, but it has its charms. Where did you serve before you came here? I can hardly remember. Hmm. She rattles off the names of a few vessels. Small ones. Nothing that stands out as exceptional. How long have you been here? She takes a moment... She takes a moment to do the math. Uh, Twenty-three years. Over two decades in the High Letha. I have survived one diplomatic mission already. That was long ago. The Eye of the Queen has been turned away from this land for a long time. Anything about you I should know mo I should know about now? Uh, what? Anything about you I should know about now? History of corruption? Sustained incompetence? <laughs> um, straight to the point, I guess. She straightens up in her chair and evenly meets your gaze. If you find any who accuse me, they lie. Then she relaxes. This is a poor land for corruption. Not, a, not enough money around for the stealing. Those looking for easy wealth go to richer lands, like the Kranas woods. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Why were you the right person for this job? A fair question. My predecessor asked for a replacement who was good at being silent. Most governors are arrogant, big talkers. I'm capable of listening, for long stretches if need be. And why is your silence such an asset in the High Letha? The High Lethans are a quiet folk. That is because they are arrogant. They think they speak for the whole row. They think they are better than us, better than you. But when you outlast their silence, actually make them speak and give opinions, they reveal more than they think. Okay. Uh, I want to know more about the High Letha. It is different from the downward provinces. They are fierce, poor, and quiet. They are also proud. They feel they have a different nature than the other row. Perhaps they do. What wealth do they have? The land up here is not rich. Little cropland. Some wood. Their main source of wealth is their cinnabar mines. That is the ore that produces quicksilver. This is also the burial ground from the most honored dead of the row. From the most honored dead of the row? Of course, a proper burial is not free. They are, they are different from the other provinces? Yes. More land, fewer people, more... Well, I should let you see for yourself. Just be careful. When they are quiet, they are judging you, waiting for mistakes. Well, let them wait. I never make mistakes. What is the nature of the High Letha? The row of the mountaintop are the keepers of the deep truth of the Rokaj, as they will tell you. A lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I've certainly been hearing that a lot. Oh yes, you'll find out. I'm not sure what that means. She sighs. Well... What is it to be Rokaj? What are the people here... Um, why are the people here different from elsewhere? Because of their courage? Their capacity for surprise violence? Their honor and honesty? Their determination to never be conquered forever? The answer is, what it means to be Rokaj is decided by the cold warriors of the High Letha. That is the deep truth of the people. Tell me about the deep truth. It is what Arose secretly believes. They can say anything they want to a conqueror as long as they never stop believing their own truth. It is a useful skill from a people that are frequently conquered. Visitors can often find it confusing. Yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine so, and yes, it has been confusing, I guess. The whole concept. But confusing how? It means that most of what the Rose say to you will be a lie. A lie for survival, but still. If you can accept this, they really are very likable people. <laughs> and how do the High Letha keep the deep truth? They live like they think the row should live, and they expect all row to do likewise. When the other Rasa aren't sure what to do, they come to the High Letha. The people here are poor in wealth, but incredibly rich in respect. And what should I take from all this? Do what I do. Listen much and speak little. Be very careful what you do up here. If the Rokaj make any ma major decisions about what to do to Haven, those, deci those decisions will be made here. Phew, that was a lot of words. Yeah, tell me about it. We're not nearly done here. I hope I wasn't boring. She sips some tea. Um, let's say I have a question about something. Please ask. If I can give you aid, I will. Uh, your defenses here are quite strong. Really? I believe I am only following procedure. It is always good to look powerful to the vessels. This is only half the truth, you are sure. These soldiers are on alert. Right now, you have to let it pass. Do I? Okay. My, I need supplies. I see. We don't have enough materials here to rebuild the fort, but we do have some wealth carefully accumulated over years. Honestly, I would prefer to keep it. We will need these funds to pay for aid and to maintain our forces. However, if your requisition did, I could never say no to my prince. Um, okay. 
I was more, you know, hoping for some sort of quest, maybe one that we already completed, perhaps, as we were exploring the uh, overworld here, um, that I could just collect an easy reward for. But no, I'm not going to insist on, on taking what little they have. You need it more than I do. Thank you for being understanding, Prince. So, Rasas are being assassinated. I heard that. From traveling merchants, not from the Lethans. It is more evidence that things in the Rokaj are... I don't know. Bad? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say that's pretty bad. Is it like grabbing at... It is like grabbing at mist sometimes. A few mad raiders attacking you? Strange, but comprehensible. Killing off the Rasas? We must be very cautious. Heard anything about what's happening back in Haven? So little news comes up here. I heard rumors that your mother is very ill, but I dismiss them as rumors. I wish your family the best, no matter what. Thank you. What do you think Rasa Suharam's petition will be? She looks away. I... I have no idea. I will make no guesses. In the Hylitha, it is very important to not give in to their, si to their silence. They can use it as a weapon to get you to fool yourself. Hmm. Have you heard of someone called the Wolf? She shakes her head. The Wolf, you say? She makes a note on a piece of parchment. You know, we never discovered who directed the raids on the Lodaga and the Gentle Coast. Who decided to try to kill you and your brother? Perhaps now we know. Maybe. Meaning? War. <laughs> no more questions, I guess. Um, well, I was sent here to evaluate you. Of course. This is not the first time. When your family visited almost twenty years ago, Queen Sharon herself evaluated me. Now I have the honor to answer to her prince. She is not afraid. How did your earlier evaluation go? Well, she's still here, so I think I can guess. It is very hard to tell if you are pleasing Queen Sharon or not. Don't you know it? She keeps me here, so... She kept me here, so I was adequate. Uh, why should I keep you in this position? Because this is a very dangerous time to put someone here who doesn't understand the High Lethans. They are a dangerous people. They are not strong in military power, but the rogue give them absolute respect. Whoever serves here must know to tread very lightly and act in careful and precise ways. <laughs> Anything you care to give me to maintain your current position? Um, nope. How should I decide whether to keep you... Uh, why would I ask her that? I So far I've seen absolutely no evidence that she does need to be re replaced. Quite the, uh, quite the opposite. So, yeah, once again, the game is making it very easy. Very obvious when someone is incompetent, and also pretty obvious when someone is not. Of course, she's literally the first person who isn't, so, you know. Anyway, I'm considering keeping you in your post. Well, yeah, so far. Until proven otherwise. Thank you, Prince. I'm honored. To make it final, I'm afraid you must return to General Miranda in Fort Meadow 4. How else can I help you? Um, I guess that's all. Just making sure that there are no other options here. I guess not. I mean, I could talk to her more, but, I mean, do I really need to? It's uh, just going to be very redundant. No one here. Was there someone else? All oh, right, I, now I remember I opened these, these gates when I first arrived, which is, of course, a little bit, uh, you know, was a little bit mean, because they apparently aren't able to close them again. So much for their defenses. Anyway, Council Vasilo... Did I talk to him when I was first here? I have no idea. I'm still eager to talk to you. I guess we must have talked. He doesn't seem to be angling for advantage or promotion. Just He's just generally enthusiastic. Anything else, Prince? I'm ready to act. Um, yeah, we definitely did talk to him. Maybe we even got a quest from him. What's a council? So you advise the governor. Why do you choose to come here? No choice about it. What skills do you have? Battle mage. Okay. Learn about the High Letha. So will I. Okay. Uh, what's your area of expertise? Artillery and demolitions. I would like some training. Not a good teacher. Um, Aerodico. I had to rush through when I came here. Hope to visit there someday to do a lot of that. A lot of what? I've been in a few battles. That didn't. I don't know. Um. Some things didn't seem to quite line up with the dialogue there, but that's fine. Okay, I suppose if there was anything, any quest to be gained from him, we already picked that up first time we were here. All right, okay. 
Well then, Watcher Juliana. Presumably, I only saw her and never talked to her either. Yeah, that portrait seems unfamiliar. You have found exactly one person in the Hall of the Raza. She is tall, pale, and thin, like most High Lethans. She is wandering the halls, whispering to herself. The accumulating dust and cobwebs don't bother her. Or maybe they do, and she's just hiding it because it's her deep truth not to be bothered by cobwebs. I don't know. When you come into, uh, when you come into view, she approaches you. She doesn't bow. She has the cold, haughty air of the High Lethans, though she occasionally favors you with a small smile. Welcome to the Hall of the Rasa, a place of great honor to to our province, even if it is quiet at the moment. I am Watcher Yuliana, assistant to Rasa Soharam, and you, unless I am mistaken, are a Havenite. I'm not just a Havenite, I'm the Havenite. Prince of Tantu of Haven, specifically, sent by Queen Sharon III of Haven on a mission of diplomatic importance. Yes. Even though she's not the Rasa, I guess she's still the official representative of the province here, and thus the protocol is to be observed. Graciously said. I have no I have no such lofty post. I aid our Rasa. I don't speak for him. She knows the insignia on your shoulder. And you are the prince. I heard you might be coming. Yes, I also just said that. I've been sent to hear your Rasa's petition. I thought so. We knew that Haven was sending a full diplomatic mission. That means petitions. We are grateful that you are here to find out what we need from you. However, I have sad news. Rasa Suharam is not here. At least this watcher is more talkative than the other row, even if you don't care for what she is saying. Well, and when will Rasa Suharam be back? I'm afraid I can't say. I can't control the will of the Rasa. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't seem like the Rasa left any instructions instructions for me, or else she would have mentioned that, presumably, but I would take the petition from you. Ah, no, I don't have the power to speak for the Rasa. If I tried to take that power, the Gaudnaz would be sent very quickly. Also, Rasa Suharam is very wise. I don't want to talk for him. I don't want to talk for him. Fair enough. So where is Rasa Suharam? When he left some days ago. I mean, really, more like weeks, if not months ago at this point. Well, probably more, more weeks than months, but anyway, some days ago. He said that he had business upward. Sorry, that means that he had to go to the higher, colder northern portion of the Hylitha. He may still be there. Or not. I can't tell you. <laughs> I'll wait here until Rasa Soharm comes. Well, no, I won't. <sighs> okay. Well, between these options, I guess I'll hunt your Rasa down. That sounds a bit more aggressive than I, I'd like it to sound. <laughs> if you want the matter settled in a reasonable amount of time, that may be your only choice. To get to the Northern Letha, follow the pilgrimage road. That seems to be the best way to start. Yeah, I mean, I guess so, since it's the only road leading north. Again, I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um... Still need to talk to Rasa Suharam? Yes. Alas, the Rasa is still not here. Where should I look? Rasa Suharam left us to go to the Northern High Letha. He may still be there. Okay, that's pretty vague, but okay. How do I enter the Northern High Letha? Leave Jadayim. You will find the pilgrimage road not far to the south. Follow it north, as countless generations of Ro have done before you, and it will take you to our inner lands. So is there not some sort of... I mean, I know that there is some sort of bottleneck here as well, connecting the two halves of the Letha. But presumably I'll be allowed to pass through, or I'll learn what to do to gain the right of passage, I guess, once I arrive there. Okay, so you're a watcher. That is my title and my purpose. Rasa Suharam uses me to watch the Rokaj. He can't give his opinions to the other Rasas without staying fully aware of what is happening in our land. When something seems amiss, a watcher is sent to investigate, so that the High Lethans can judge. Our Rasa sends me, uh, sends me out seldom, only for the most important matters. It is an honor. How does one become a watcher? One must be hardy to travel our roads. One must be bold though that is common enough for the row, and most importantly, one must be able to talk confidently and well. That last quality is uncommon in our cold land. Why are you suited for the job? I love to talk, and I love to travel. People like me, be people like me become merchants, erudes, or watchers, penning us up in, in a small cabin with only ice fishing to break the monotony tends to drive us mad. Do you go to all of the provinces? 
I do. In the road, trouble can appear anywhere, at any time. I don't mind. The pilgrimage road is easy to travel. It is only awkward when I go to the Lodaga. Why is the Lodaga awkward? Uh, because she's a woman, of course. The men there don't care to answer to a woman. That is why I often that is why I often go there. They must always be reminded that they don't get to they don't get to choose their watchers. Who are you watching now? Me, I guess. Rasa Suharam asked me to watch our own land. I watch the Hylitha now. These peaks are where our honored dead are buried. Normally they are quiet. Lately the spirits are restless. You have lots of ghosts up here. This peak is a magical place, and centuries of dead have been brought here. Ghosts are the natural result. How are they restless? Travel and you will see. They emerge from the rock, and they, and they judge us. They howl, they shout, sometimes they attack. It happens from time to time. We need to know if this is just one of the regular tantrums they have from time to time, or if they have a message for us. And what are you going to do? Me? I watch. When the Rasa returns, I will say what I learned. Dealing with shades is the job of our mist-talkers. They have a hall in Jajayim. They can tell you more, if you're interested. Well, been there, done that, I guess. Although I probably... It's probably one of those two remaining quests uh, that I got there. Uh, I want to ask about something... Of course. Uh, tell me about the Hylitha, I guess. You have seen enough of it to know that this is a cold and difficult land. We have few people and resources. Our main source of wealth is Quicksilver. Our main resource, however, is tradition. We keep the old ways of the row. We never deviate from them. Thus we provide our people with good examples and instruction. We do all we can to be worthy of that honor. Tell me about this hall. It is old, as you can see. Humble. Fairly quiet. Where the Rasa here, where the Rasa here, you would see many meetings, councils of judgment, more celebrations than you might think. It is a, signif a significant place. <clears throat> Rasas are being assassinated. I have heard the news from downward. It is a sad thing. Sometimes Rasas need to be killed, yes, but not without much discussion and sorrow. Happily, Rasa Suharam doesn't need to worry. Why are you so sure? The Hylithans are the conscience of the Rokaj. For one of the downward provinces to pass judgment on us and kill our leader? Unthinkable. Hmm. Or at least, it would take a meeting on Prova Krug. Have you heard of someone called the Wolf? She thinks about it for a while, or convincingly pretends to. No, I do not recognize the title. It's sort of an arrogant title to take, don't you think? Hmm. Is it? I guess. I have no more questions? I suppose not. Well, okay. Didn't really learn anything new here. I need the petition. Okay, so the quest does send us to the Fangs of Judgment, so I guess something is going to happen, obviously, as soon as we arrive there. Well, for now, I suppose we're going to head to those common catacombs next, after some rest. Should have done that when I was in um, the Hall of Haven. Anyway, uh, what was I trying to look at? I wanted to look at something just now. Um... What the heck? What could it have been? I looked at the map and I... Something occurred to me. Okay, I have no idea. Inventory is pretty much sorted. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just go ahead and rest and maybe I'll remember. Wait, this is not the place. Wasn't... Oh. Further down. Gotcha. Uh, some beds. Presumably these ones. Okay, can we... Hello? Oh, you're in the way. Can, can I just walk past you? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, please. Okay. Get a report. Seriously, though. Hmm, I don't know. I, gu I guess maybe I'll remember, or maybe it wasn't important. Um, over here? Yes. I could fast travel, I suppose, but hardly necessary. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we'll deal with these rats, which are probably going to cost us some precious resources. Not much, probably. Oh, you know what? Yes, I wanted to check how close we were to leveling, and... Um, 
The answer is not very close at all because we just leveled to level 20. Okay. Because um, I was considering giving that Arena Master another try, right? Right after we deal with uh, the quest at Raximus Ruins. But, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I suppose we are two levels higher than last time. But we're definitely not going to reach level 21 by the time we get there. And so, we're not really going to have much of an advantage over, you know, compared to last time. But I'm um, still going to give it a try, I guess. It might be enough. Critical for 16, of course. That's fine though, we're gonna... Gonna just heal everyone after this and be down maybe one... One energy. No big deal. Still a bit of a pointless fight. Okay, never mind, we're fully healed. Okay, and these are the common catacombs. Save the game. You enter the common catacombs. I guess we already see the first undead here. Oh, can't see the red dot on the, on the map, but anyway, we'll see soon enough. You enter the common catacombs. When the Rokaj wish to give their dead extra honor, they are brought up to the High Letha, the heart of the row, to be buried. This massive complex is for those who are honored, but not, you know, really, really honored. Long galleries extend to either side with rows of stone pylons, small sealed containers in the bases contain the ashes of the deceased. A few pilgrims mourn their dead. The High Lethans who maintain the crypt walk around quietly. Okay, never mind, so I guess these are just these are actual people. And the real the, the undead that we will need to deal with are somewhere deeper inside. Um, this is a place of perpetual truce. Everyone ignores each other, quietly, quietly going about their business. When you enter when you enter, however, the air is filled with a quiet electric energy. Everyone notices it. The crypt is waiting for you. Maybe I should remind myself what this quest was even all about. It's a young merchant named Trader Darmal in Dajayim. He claims that this clan is related to yours. I do remember that guy. Who's named after my father. And he asked for your help with some challenging family business. He said that some of his clan is in the nearby common catacombs trying to, uh, to inter the ashes of their dead leader. Something is preventing this, and for some reason Darmal thought you can help. Okay. First, I guess... We'll just look around, see if there's anyone to talk to around here. Some sort of priest or shaman. Master Sutter. <sighs> okay. Thankfully, not that Sutter. This, the cremation hall is currently occupied by a family of the Lodaga. There are eight of them. The women are huddled in the corner, while the men stand between them, between them and you. They are cold, miserable, and very upset. But they show no signs of giving up the room. Their leader approaches to speak with you. He is the youngest of the men, but he is also the best armed. He wears old but nicely polished steel armor, and his blade is at his side. He holds a large clay jug in his trembling hands. He is exhausted. He says, I am Master Sutter, and I speak for, for our clan. This is a difficult time, made worse. We ask to be left alone in our suffering. Um... Well, I am Prince Atanto of Haven, and Trader Damal asked for my help. Just guessing that these are the people that he was talking about. That gets everyone's attention. You are. I apologize, Prince. I should have given you better welcome. I greet you in the name of my clan. It is an honor to meet you. I am Master Sutter, after all. Sutter? You are named after... Your older brother, yes. When your father, a row of the Lodaga... Your father, a row of the Lodaga, had his first son, I was born soon after. I was named in honor of your great fortune. Now we meet in a dark, chaotic time. We are comforted by the pre presence of one with the, of one with the blood of the row. Okay, uh, so you're from the Lodaga. We are a harsh, dry land, but a blessing compared to this icy peak. It was a long journey to get here. Hard travel, problems with the women. Now we are trapped here until our pr until until our purpose is completed. You have problems with the women. The Lodagans protect their women. Taking them on a journey like this was a great risk. 
yet they would not miss the final burial of our old master. We tried to deny them, but they were very insistent. You look at the women in the corner, guarded by the Dagon warriors. They meet your gaze without fear. Hmm. How long have you been here? Weeks. We give up this hall when we give up this hall when others need cremation, and then we return to our vigil. We will not give up until we have our right. You can't just go home and return when things are calmer? No. Even if we care to repeat the journey, leaving our chief here is our right. We will not back down from it. If we have to live uh, if we have to live our lives here. Okay. Uh, what is the script? These are the common catacombs. All honorable row may have their ashes placed here for a time if their clan is willing to willing and able to make the journey. We have already cremated our master. He holds up the jar. Normally we would we would long have been back in our nice hot hills weeks ago, and our clan master would be resting here on the normal path. Um, what is the normal path? His ashes would be in one of the pylons that surround us. He was a full master, so that is his right. Otherwise, the ashes wouldn't be in the catacombs below. Uh, otherwise, the ashes would be in the catacombs below. Then, when all who remembered him in life have died, he would be taken to the final end to make room for new urns. The final end? I believe the keepers of the crypt have a very deep pit just below our feet. It contains the ashes of centuries of row. A bit harsh, perhaps, but we are a very practical people. Hmm. So, what is the problem exactly? Normally, we would have only one more thing to do. We would take our master's ashes and put them in one of the tra traditional urns of the catacombs. He nods toward the row of empty jars by the north wall. That is all I need to do. Pour the ashes into one of them. Go ahead. Master Satter walks to a jar. The other Lodagans kneel and begin a ceremonial chant. It's a quiet display. They've tried this dozens of times over the last few weeks. As Satter begins to pour the ashes, the ground jerks under your feet. The large jar tips over. Then you hear a roaring voice coming out of the air. Your master traded with the Havenites. He built walls for the tormentors who enslave us. His ashes are rejected. He will not rest in honor until the prince you grovel, you grovel to is challenged by us. The voice fades. Okay, that's pretty explicit. Master Sider says, well, that was different. Oh, okay. That, that's not the thing that's been happening. I see. We haven't had actual speech before. Just shaking and howling. Now, he accused our old master of being a traitor. Intolerable. That spirit has no right. Yet, he looks at you. It wants to challenge you. It rejects our master because we helped you. <laughs> I'm not sure that is my problem. I, mean, I guess it really isn't, but, you know. Well, I'd better go downstairs and see what the trouble is. The Rokaj not with approval. Master Sutter stands up, stands, up, stands up straight. We are tormented because we helped you. We appreciate your aid in return. Some of the crypt workers slip off. Soon you hear a gate open in the southeast. If you help, you will receive a bounty. The Roe will know of this honorable act. Good luck to you. He turns away to comfort his grieving family. Okay, well, that's uh, certainly different. Crypt Keeper. Hello? Ah, the crypt is maintained by a handful of severe, gaunt high lethans. They resist any attempt to draw them into conversation. You wonder if they took a vow of silence until you see one of them speaking with a native row off in the distance. You ask about Master Satter's problem. They respond that they have no idea what is going on or how to correct it. They think the source of the rage in the catacombs they, they think the source of the rage is in the catacombs. You sense that they are telling the truth. Okay. What a useful ability to have to sense sense motive, I guess. Right, that's going to be our exit, that's going to be our entrance. Nothing too surprising here. Well, let's see what that challenge is all about. We're probably going to be locked in here. At the bottom of the stairs, you find the entrance to the catacombs. The remains of the dead, who are less important or more forgotten, are brought into these cold, damp tunnels. None of the crypt workers have been down here for a while. It is deathly still, which is fitting, I guess, and the smell of rot hangs in the air. Considering that all of the dead here have been cremated, that odor is worrying, yeah. Sure is. As you look around, a gate in the corridor to the west rattles noisily. The gate behind you guards uh, your only escape route. If it closes, you will be trapped down here with the dead. Ooh, spooky. With a deafening clang, the gate behind you slams to the ground. Your ears ring. As you start to wonder how long you'll be trapped down here, a gate to the west opens. You have been trapped, and the dead await. OK. 
Okay, that is indeed open. And there are a bunch more doors that are hopefully just going to open in succession after we deal with each of these challenges. You enter the catacombs. These are natural caverns, barely modified in the centuries this crypt has been in operation. You're definitely not alone down here. Moaning creatures shuffle aimlessly down the passages. The smell of rot is stronger, but of course it is. Okay, got a scourge zombie, which thankfully is the slow kind. My favorite kind of zombie. Okay, we seem to be dealing with at least three of them here. What? Oh, okay, I was gonna say that definitely that shot should have killed it. Your blow blasts the zombie backwards, it crumbles to the ground. Then, as you watch with horror and fascination, its bits start to reform. You chop them up, they start to reform again. This fellow will soon be back to torment you. Some powerful force nearby is forcing him to maintain. Un to remain in on life. A fresh zombie lurches toward you, it swings one of the vicious scourges of the Hylitha. Oh, that's kind of. Okay, that's why they're called scourge zombies. You wonder where the body came from. Normally only ashes and bones are brought down here. Hmm. Okay. Actually... Yeah. Never mind, you can't reach them. Critical? Is it down to one hit point? Yes. Okay, reforming, yes. Also reforming. Hmm, okay. I was kind of hoping that whatever source of uh, their reformation would be up there. I guess it's not going to be quite that easy. Another scourge zombie. Hmm. Okay, this is uh, at least a different looking one. More of a spellcaster, from the looks of it. Hmm. Well, I guess it, they could really be anywhere. It could be up to the north. Okay, unfortunately, they have already reformed. But maybe... Well, we'll see, I guess. If uh, they'll remember where I was after reforming. Or if they'll... Uh, if I manage to get away before they fully reform. If they'll uh, just stay where they are. It would be convenient, for sure. Okay, took you out. I guess I'm gonna start looking to the north first. One, two. Please don't walk around the long way. Okay, there's, there's probably just another zombie down there. Oh, uh, that looks special. We might be onto something here. Yep, okay, that's just a zombie. Aha, uh -huh, a voice of the row. This chamber contains a large stone altar. There is a pit on the other side of it. Empty ornamental urns line the cave walls. Collected offerings, mainly weapons, have been gathered here. You, s you soon figure out what the pit is for. Eventually, all row ashes placed here are given a final remembrance. Then they get dumped into a very deep hole. By the pit you see what you first mistake for a high lethan, perhaps a mistalk or priest. Then you get a closer look. He is really very dead. His skin is gray and his eyes are missing. Unsettling. As soon as you enter, he reacts. Ah, he begins. The Havenite comes. The Havenite will answer. Okay. I guess he will. He's not hostile yet, though. Hmm. Hello? Can't attack friendly townsfolk. I would not necessarily... 
call that guy friendly townsfolk? You hear a new source of angry moaning nearby. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Some more zombies reforming. Let's prepare for the encounter that's hopefully about to start here. Probably only hasn't started because we have not. Um, you know, spend enough time out of combat or any time out of combat near this guy, right? Surely he must become hostile any moment. Maybe not? Hello? Oh, okay, never mind. I actually had to talk to him. You approached a hideous zombie. He was tall and thin in life, probably high lethan. He's holding one of the one of those vicious barbed scourges the lethans wield to inspire fear in battle. I am the voice of the row, it roars. I challenge you, tormentor. He can't really look at you, as he doesn't have eyes. He points his skull holes in your direction imposingly. You claim to speak for the Rokaj? I do. I will speak for all of the Rokaj, for the Ro is too weak and scared to speak for itself. On what authority do you make this claim? My authority is myself. When I died, my deep truth was firm in my heart. I know what is right and wrong. I claim to be our voice. Who will dispute me? Who were you in life? I was a watcher for the High Leafans. A watcher? Tell me more. I traveled all of the rows, seeing the disease and weakness Haven brought to us. I was a witness and a judge. How did you die? When the disease was too much to withstand, I fought against Haven in the Great Uprising. I died for my deep truth. My body was hidden here, in a deep tunnel, to honor my sacrifice. Now I rise to judge. He'll be pretty upset if Haven gets to kill him twice. Well, that is going to happen, though. Well, I mean, I will talk to you, although I guess it's not gonna, um, you know, talking is not gonna solve this. No, not yet. This is a major proclamation. I need more witnesses. More witnesses? The creature points to the south. I have called witnesses from the dead. They must be brought to me. When more have come, we can begin. Ugh. Really? Okay, let me just quickly grab some loot here. There's a large chest here, probably to store valuable trinkets left over the centuries. Open the box? Oh, the undead Lethan turns and points at you. Leave my tribute alone! You feel ill. Ugh. <sighs> did I save? Of course I did not. Of course not. Or did I? No. Well, that is a bit unfortunate. Pretty much have to cure this. Yeah, so that was just a bunch of wasted. Ugh. A bunch of wasted energy. Um So we have to deal with these stupid scourge zombies while they keep respawning. That's what you're telling me here. I guess the buffs aren't completely wasted then because we're still having to do some fighting, but I mean that seems like it could be very <laughs> very unfun having to fight my way through these unkillable zombies over and over. First on the way south, I guess, to recruit some witnesses. And then all the way back up here. Or maybe whatever is keeping these zombies respawning is actually something separate from this guy. That would be nice if we could actually disable that and make exploration of this place a little bit more tolerable. you do that? Okay, so now they're all reforming, although the first one is probably about to reform any moment. Hmm. Maybe shoot? Nah, you can't shoot from there. Not a chance.
Was that enough? That looks... Nope. Not quite. Okay, speed things up a little bit with a shock spell. Surely that was enough. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. They take longer to reform than I thought. turn okay of course they're still take a little moment or you know every every single zombie takes a moment to decide that they are basically skipping their turn continuing to, re to reform so still takes a moment for all the enemy turns to pass oh what interesting so you don't even have to Kill them all the way? Just damage them? A certain amount? Huh, interesting. Wait, this looks like a dead end. That's not good. But... Or... Wait a second. Are they actually... Did I just need to talk to the to the guy? And are they actually? Hmm. Maybe after talking to to the speaker of the row, is that what he was called? Um. No, they're coming. Dang it! But he did say to the south, though. Unless. No, nothing has opened over here. Huh? Oh, I did not need to attack you. Okay, let's see here. Just some money, a bolt of silk, a spear that we can sell. <sighs> Exit combat. But, yeah. Those all turn hostile again. <laughs> this seems pretty awful. <laughs> I don't know. Either I'm... Once again, I feel like I'm... Like I might be missing something here, because this is just... I mean, how's this gonna work? We're constantly gonna be harassed by these zombies, which are thankfully very slow and not very dangerous, but... They're just making getting around, moving around this map so tedious. And I don't even know where to go. I mean, it looks like I absolutely did not need to come here at all. So that was all just a colossal waste of time. I mean, yeah, there's some loot, but I mean, big deal. Not even anything good. Ugh, and now we're completely surrounded here. You know what? Okay, I had saved here. That's good. Since we had not made any kind of actual progress. I guess this is actually actually faster, which is, you know, kind of crazy. But okay, I'm gonna just make a beeline for the speaker now. And... Uh, try to pay more attention this time, maybe. To see what he's really saying. Okay, yeah, you absolutely do not need to damage them all the way. Huh. Okay. Should have uh, made sure to move a bit further ahead here, but okay. No harm done. Oh, right, you're just a zombie. Mm, will we need to deal with that one over there? Maybe, those ones. Okay. 
Ah, that might be a little bit too close. Hmm, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Okay, fine, we'll talk to you. Just skip everything else. More witnesses. The creature points to the self. I have called witnesses from the dead. They must be brought to me. When more have come, we can begin. Unless I'm literally supposed to lure them here. And maybe they're gonna turn non-hostile as soon as they enter this chamber? I guess that could be. I'm gonna risk saving the game here. Those other zombies that I uh, left back here... Or, yeah. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. They should be coming. I suppose in, at this point I can attack you in melee. I suppose I don't technically need to fight them at all, do I? So all I need to do is lure them here. Whether they have previously reformed or not should not matter. So... Let's see if that's actually how it works. Sure hope it does. Hmm. I don't know, so far, it's not looking very promising, I must say. Maybe I need to talk to him again. I guess I'll try to call them all to, you know, to re start reforming. So we're not in combat anymore. Ouch. Either way, a really strange, strange dungeon. Ah, of course. Wow, and they can hit, they can hit hard. Can we exit combat? Obviously, if this doesn't end up doing anything... Probably, the next one is probably gonna turn hostile any moment. Okay, no. Not immediately. I'll talk to you, please. Oh, at last. Apparently, I really just needed to get a certain number of zombies into this room. That's kind of bizarre, but okay. At last, the Rokash can be freed from its bondage today. Today, the deep truth of my people will speak. You have neglected us for too long. Now you will hear our challenge. Okay. I'm a Prince of Haven, and the Rokash signed a treaty of vessels with us. Your opinion doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't, but I have been warned specifically to be very respectful and understanding and say as little as possible. So, you know, let's just listen, actually. They are just. I hear the words of the spirits brought here. I know that uh, we are not treated with, res with respect by your empire. Your governors are incompetent and corrupt. Well, most of them, yes. You suck. <laughs> you suck. Out our wealth. But you keep us weak. You hoard knowledge and power. You won't let us fight. You weaken us with luxury. You won't even let us have proper walls. Your presence makes us forget our ways and bathe in dishonor. But you do bathe. Go on. You have forgotten us. We think you are weak. We think your will is weak. We don't think you are strong enough to hold us to the Treaty of Vassalage signed those centuries ago. Give us a declaration, or be challenged. 
know that we are not without tribute. He turns his eye holes in the direction of the box in the northwest corner. Wait, how many of these little challenges are your people going to make uh, going to make me go through anyway? Uh, good question. But um, not one that's going to be very very helpful, I guess. What sort of declaration am I supposed to make? You will declare you have done us wrong. You will declare we are free. Wow, your mother wouldn't approve of that at all. Yeah, I don't think I have the authority to do that, nor would I want to. Hmm. I mean, I can't just single-handedly end the, the vassalage contract. No, you know what? You're, you ask too much, arrogant spirit. Yes, that is your answer. You are defiant, so the challenge will come to you. The Rokaj is not ruled by words on paper. It is ruled by strength. Fight me, Tormentor. Yeah, I had a feeling like maybe he was... He, he wanted me to... You know... Show some backbone, I suppose. Rather than just giving in to his demand. Of course, unfortunately, these zombies are just gonna come back now, but... I guess the good news is that this guy is not super tanky. So with any luck, we'll kill him before most of these zombies get a chance to do anything. Okay. No immediate danger, although I guess I could play it safe. Heal. Thankfully, we got the, we got the battle medic proc. He's vulnerable, I like that. Uh, he, certainly, he cannot bleed, right? Oh, wait, I guess he can? Hmm. I suppose so, okay. In that case, go ahead and bleed, please. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Okay, weakened. That helps a little bit. Ah, there's the first zombie. Okay, hit pretty hard too. No battle medic this time. But that so-called voice of the row is... Very dead, actually. Okay. Not just getting close. With a hideous screech, the voice of the rogue collapses into dust. All of its dead servants fall around you. This odd encounter and concluded, you look around for a way to escape. You were the only witness to what you said to the creature. You wonder if your words will have any effect on the outside world. Well, I have a feeling like they will. Also, didn't the game just say that the undead servants fell? Maybe they, they'll take a moment to, you know to actually get the message performing. Ah, okay, now they disappeared. Just took a moment. Okay, well, thankfully that worked. I really was not sure, but I mean, the because the, the thing specifically said, you know, or specifically point itself, and there was absolutely nothing else there but just more zombies, I, I you know, I figured that was really the only option. And thankfully it did work. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a very, very weird thing. A very weird encounter. Anyway, uh, open the box now. Now that it is no longer protected, you open the box. It is full of a jumble of coins and jewelry. Much of it is dating back decades and centuries. Decades and centuries. Well, you also find, oddly, a polished snail shell. Some sort of charm? Uh, yes, stun resist. No one needs that, but uh, I'll happily sell it. Thank you very much. Okay, all the zombies, I guess, presumably would have disappeared. Well, the zombies perhaps. Not the spiders, though. Hobo, sp <laughs> Hobo spiders. Um, okay. Nice cleave. Not nice enough, though, although... At least one of them is poisoned. That helps. Well, I guess I'll also just, also just kill them like this, or actually miss both of the damaged ones, because 
I must have misaimed. Well, that's kind of silly, but okay. Wait, it did not die. I just assumed that it was close enough. But no, not even close. Not even close to close enough. Seems like we're not dealing with a lot more of them here. Although, no. No, we don't. open. Did any of the other doors open? Okay, they, the entrance actually opened back up. That's good to know. That we have a way to escape. I mean, as far as I'm aware, we're, we're done with the quest, right? But there is obviously a lot more to the script. Hmm. Well, obviously I'm gonna first look around a bit more here. Metal resist. Yeah, that's slightly more interesting than stun resist, I guess. No, actually it's not. We're also completely immune to that. So never mind. Save the game. Oh, oh right, of course. That other entrance. Clarity brew. That is a very welcome find. Thank you very much. Oh. Huh? Oh, that just connects here. Gotcha. Hmm. What a strange layout. Right. All of these. Enemies down here have disappeared. The loot has not. But these other gates are still closed. So, if there actually is anything behind them... These, these might just be there for sure. I mean, there's not a whole lot of map left, I guess. So, maybe they, they will never open up. Or maybe there's going to be some sort of follow-up quest. We'll see. For now, I guess we have answered the challenge, so... Yeah, I talk to your angry zombie. I think we settled our differences. You tell the tale to the Lodagans. They aren't sure how to react. The events are a bit more momentous than they expected. Finally, Sutter says, Perhaps I should try to place the ashes again. Go ahead. He walks to an empty urn. The others kneel and chant. He pours the ashes into the jar. Nothing happens. A worker steals the jar and carries it off. As the other Lodagans pack up and prepare to go, Master Sutter says... Thank you, Prince. Whatever horrible events happen in the next few months, we will always remember your kindness. Trader Darmal will pay your bounty. Okay, what happens now? Now we return home. We have much to, much work to do, and we fear that the great chaos is coming to our land. We wish you good fortune, Prince. He returns to looking after his clan. Okay, we really are done here. Huh. What a very odd quest. Ultimately, not even a very difficult one, and we were left with, you know... Definitely enough resources to start the next dungeon. I suppose we could do that. I was obviously starting to return to Jajayim, J J J starting to return to Jajayim, but I guess there's no real reason to turn in the quest now. I guess technically, maybe there could be an absolutely amazing. Uh, are you guys friendly? Uh, that might be. Uh, that could be an absolutely amazing reward in it for us that might be super helpful but I doubt it's gonna be that good uh, there is an honor guard of ghosts waiting by the path they were Rokaj warriors from all over the land dead for at least a century they watch as you approach Raximus when they see who you are they let out a cacophony of angry incoherent screeches for the first time in decades they try to leave their posts flowing over the tundra toward you they are too old and fragile and the effort is too much they fall apart before they get to you okay Interesting. You meet another honor guard of Rokaj ghosts. Again, they recognize you. Again, they hate you. However, they don't attack. Instead, they withdraw. They rise into the air and float into the rock, heading into the ruined tower of Raximus. Alright. So I guess we'll be facing them eventually. You approach the lower tower of Raximus. This was once a mighty stone fortress of the Rokaj. Then it was shattered by an enormous force, probably delivered by Haven. It has been abandoned for a century. At least it's been abandoned by the living. The moment you set foot inside the outer wall, inside the outer wall, you hear whispering, quiet at first, full of rage, then slowly louder. 
Your arrival has awakened something here. Something that really, really doesn't like you. Well, it's a big surprise, for sure. Normally I'm so well-loved everywhere I go. Anyway, um, Raximus, these ruins are the fate of all who oppose Haven. Right. Should I start exploring? I mean, I suppose we're already here. I doubt we're gonna finish this place. Although, of course, one half of, uh, of this ground level, at least, is already explored. Hmm. I suppose I might as well look around just a little bit more. Oh, okay, and we can actually open this up immediately. So we could check out the arena again if I if I wanted to. But I feel like there's not much of a point. Okay, and we actually just have this other tower. Go ahead and heal. Save. Ah, you enter the lower tower. It is an icy cold ruin. Nobody has been here for years. Nobody living, anyway. There are bones and torn bits of armor everywhere. You see dented helmets and slivers of shattered weapons. All of the torn clothing and broken blades are of the Rose style. Haven delivered the Rokaj a devastating defeat here, and or removed any of their own fallen. When you enter the tower, the whispering suddenly ceases. The ghosts are still all around you, but now they are watching, waiting. Okay, we have some staircases here right away. The stairway ends in at an impassable pile of rubble. Okay, so much for that. Glad I checked. Okay, that is locked. Still no enemies. Shades. Ooh, vengeful spirit. Hmm. Not immediately hostile, so they want to talk before we before they get destroyed by us. I see. Oh, another impassable pile of rubble. Interesting. So are we not going to ascend this tower at all? Oh. We'll see, I guess. Hello? Hmm. I feel like we might want to... maybe stand by... by the wall like this, so we're not going to be completely surrounded. Actually... Let's maybe stand down here, in this corner, so we can potentially use some fireballs, if it comes to that. Actually, that guy is not particularly tanky. Well, let's see. Oh, hey, you look familiar. At last you have found the ghosts. They line the benches to either side, watching you as you enter. They are the dead rebels of the Rokaj, fading away here for a century. They are too weak and faded to do any harm. There is one shade here that retains some of the power he had in life. He stands behind a pile of skulls. There is another shade behind him, wearing robes and a hood. Oh yeah? Is one of them different? Hmm. Uh, it whispers something to him, and then fades away. The lethal ghost points its spectral scourge at you. Haven has returned. At last we can have our revenge. <sighs> Seems all too familiar. And who were you exactly? We are the dead of the Great Uprising. We fought against you once. You laid siege to Raximus and destroyed it, and us. Now we can fight again, at last. Okay, looking forward to getting destroyed again, huh? <sighs> nice skulls. They were our heads in life. They will witness our triumph. Mm -hmm. Did you know that I'm a prince? The shades quiver and whisper to each other. This news is very exciting. Truly, this will be a glorious revenge. You received your just punishment, rebel. I accept your challenge. Hmm, I guess so. Once again, expressing that we don't want to fight will definitely, almost definitely, be uh, understood as weakness, right? Also, clearly combat is inevitable here. These definitely don't want to, want to, uh, you know, want a peaceful solution, so, yes. Yes, that is what we expected. Truly, this will be a glorious revenge. He picks up the thorn behind him, and the horn behind him, and surprisingly is able to blow it. As the echo of its call fades, you hear other sounds. Listen. Oh. The tower is now alive with scraping and moaning. All of the bones you passed on the way in are coming together and rising. The army of the dead has trapped you in, in their tower. It is time to lay them to their final rest. Uh, so that's how it's going to be. And you are actually... Oh, you actually turned hostile. Interesting. Interesting. 
We'll see what he's gonna do. Oh, he said himself. And some of the skeleton. Alright. And he's destroyed. Nothing special happened, I guess. What? Oh. I am stupid, as it turns out. Big surprise there. Okay. Sapphire skeleton, gotcha. Should have paid attention to what kind of skeleton it was, perhaps. Oh well. You're destroyed. Evaded, I like that. You know what? You can drink a potion. And then start attacking. Mm, maybe a really good hit could finish it off. It did. Good job. Ah, poison, huh? So your swords not only look green, but they're actually poisonous. Fair enough. Okay, I kind of need to heal him here. Hmm. Yeah, they're obviously immune to poison themselves. And uh, drink another potion. Okay, that's one more down. And another one. Poison resisted, at least. Okay, so first wave of skeletons dealt with. Heal that. Yeah, you can just drink your final potion, I suppose. And. Oh, that's not actually locked. Hmm. Another clarity brew. Very nice. Not quite as good as actual Quicksilver, but, you know, we're getting there. Radiant Helm. Now. That seems pretty good. Plus one to Shockwave. Wait. Shockwave as in the Mage spell? Okay. Interesting. I mean, the armor is really good, actually. It has three slots, of course, which is also really good. It's not... I mean, I'm trying to see if there's any kind of disadvantage to this, but it doesn't seem like it. It's just a very good helmet. It might be one that we can actually um, that we can actually purchase, or will eventually be able to purchase. Obviously, we have not actually had access to it up to this point. Yeah, I mean... Definitely gonna use that as soon as I can resocket it. Ah. Here we have more skeletons. Do we actually need to deal with all of them? Who knows, but... I guess I probably will. Okay, extra slow. Some really good heals been noticing here, in contrast to those pretty lackluster ones that I've been noting as of late. Okay. I mean, they have blue weapons. Does that mean that they have some other elemental properties? Maybe? Hmm. Okay, no special effect on that one. Ah, really? Three health, of course. Guess I'll throw some magic over this way. Guess we hit three of them. Good enough. Yeah, they definitely do hit hard. Whenever they get a chance. Forty-eight, okay, that was slightly weaker, but still perfectly acceptable. Oh. Huh. Okay, I, for some reason I thought there must be more still around the corner, but I guess not. Okay. So far, so easy. Now, will any of the blocked stairs be passable now? 
I mean, that wouldn't make a lot of sense, but I guess that's also not the case, so. Anyway. It was really just a matter of defeating the skeletons in here. That should not be very difficult. In fact, it seems like we're mostly done here. I mean, there is one door left, of course. We'll see what's in in there. Nice crit. Okay, we got crit back. Fair enough. Oh, a single spectre. And it's destroyed. Is that really it? Hmm. Elixir Stone Ring, Maximum Energy, ooh. No, I think I'm actually gonna keep the Wizard's Ring. Even if it's one less energy, but the extra to blessing, 20% to blessing spells seems like it's good enough to make up for that. Yeah, and obviously we're typically fine in terms of energy anyway. Dice, virtual road dagger, sure, why not? Number 25 or so. Yep, still blocked, okay. So, did we do it? Quest done? I mean, there's nothing else here, right? Is there? Dead of the Uprising. It's full of mad shades that need to be returned to the rest, however, they can only be drawn out by the presence of someone they truly hate you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it seems. It's like we're done. Hi there. I guess not quite. But, I mean, there doesn't seem to be any kind of actual boss or anything. That's the surprising part. Okay. Some sort of magical skeleton over here. You know what? What the heck? It's <laughs> kind of silly to to start buffing now when we're presumably almost done with this place. Up to this point, of course, we've only ever been facing so few of these, uh, you know, so few enemies at a time that felt that would have felt like a waste to actually buff. That's why I didn't. We good now? To the west you see a final ghost. Aha. Uh -huh. It was the rogue shade that whispered to the lethal ghost that attacked you. When you enter the hall, it points at you. In life it was a hero of the Rokage. It was one of those who set the great uprising ablaze. Oh. <laughs> in life I was a hero of the Rokage. I was one of those who set the great uprising ablaze. When you die in our halls, I will inspire my people to rebellion once again. You have made your final mistake. As it speaks, more skeletons were formed on the other side of the gates. I see. Hunter Shades. Lost Mastermind. Not very tanky. I mean, I was hoping to challenge the Arena Master again, but then again, they're still four levels above us, right? So, it's... I don't feel like I've really... like I will really have much better chances than last time. I mean, technically, if, if we could end this combat with, you know, in about the, sh the same shape we are in right now, it might be worth giving it another shot, but I guess realistically I'll just return fully rested sometime later, so... Yeah. In other words, I'm not gonna hold back here. Just for the sake of maybe... Uh, you know, saving some resources. Oh, also, it turns out that apparently with killing the Mastermind, the remaining shades also died? I mean... Okay. Why only give this guy 170 health, then, if he was supposed to be the boss for this little gauntlet? Hmm. I don't know. 
These, these last two quests have been surprisingly... I don't know. Easy. Huh. Uh, your blows easily tear apart the ghostly rebel. It doesn't even have time to make another deluded speech. It is just It just sort of falls apart. The power animating its guards leaks away. The bones fall apart. The whispering finally ceases. At last, the rebels here can rest. Failures forever. Wow. Sick burn. Okay, well... I suppose since we are literally in the same shape as we were before, I mean, pretty much... I will actually give this arena another shot, just for fun. Just for fun. Uh, can we please head through here? Uh, now that both gates are open, you have revealed a new hidden path between the Hylitha and the Kranos Woods. Smugglers and raiders are sure to be grateful for your efforts. Opening gates between provinces makes traveling using the world map slightly faster. Yes. Oh, right. This is closed again. There we go. So I will give this guy another shot. However, not now. That'll have to wait until next time. For now, we have successfully completed the last two remaining areas here, and we're ready to move on toward the Fangs of Judgment. And we'll see... Well, we'll see what we need to do there. Obviously, we'll have to fight our way through in some way or another before we can make it to the other side. And how long that'll take will will remain to be seen. Uh, before we head there, again, next time I'm going to give this fight... One quick try, or maybe a couple, just to see if it seems like we have a realistic chance. Or maybe if we would have a realistic chance if we were fully rested. Um, or else I'm just going to return later, of course. But uh, either way, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.